about to race it on turf for one mile the 15th running of the Ooh. breeders cup juvenile turf and albar is acting up as a matter of fact he might be down in the starting gate they, do, they need to get the horse on either side of him, make sure that they don't get hurt as well. Oh, there wow. goes the three. They're taking him out. Albar is stuck underneath the starting gate, sitting down. So it, the odds are very high right now that Albar will be scratched yeah. as a result of this. And it's going to delay the start a little bit. Hopefully they can get him up and uh, he'll be okay. The veterinarians will check him out behind the starting gate. But it's very much a case of uh, better safe than sorry when you get into these situations. The thing is, is they're going to try and, and open the back gate and let him flop out if his weight's on the, the back of the starting gate. But he could get anxious and start wailing away, trying to free himself. And that is the worst case scenario for him. So this is a perfect example of why they had the earmuffs on and the hood during the post parade, yeah. why they had the blindfold on to get him into the starting gate. They take the blindfold off and look. Oh, what happens. He's, he's up on all fours. He's looking out the back of the gate now. He's turned completely around in there. And as Randy said, they'll almost certainly scratch him. So there's Frankie Dottori you see walking off. Let's uh, let's get it down to Donna. Donna, what do you see? Well, I think you guys saw a lot of it. As you saw, he reared up and completely got himself turned around facing the wrong direction and down underneath the um, starting gate as you could see and, and they pretty much had to release the one to get him out of harm's way and then they managed to get the three backed out they i'm not sure if the bridle fell off or if they felt like they had to take it off but chances are that in all of that action the bridle just fell off and i see him walking off the track right now you know, honestly, I'm not a vet, so I'm not going to report on what sort of condition he's in. To a layman, he doesn't look like he's worse for the wear, but he certainly will not be running today. He got his front oh, foot wow. over the front of the oh, starting yes. gate, look so he that. could have injured a tendon there. Oh. You never know. And then he sits down. Frankie at least got off him because that's a tough spot for a rider. There's nowhere to go. He's flailing away underneath there. There he, he looks is. Okay. He looks okay, thank God. But they'll get him back to the barn, obviously, and go over him with a fine-tooth comb. But no juvenile turf for Albar. And it's something that you, you could see with a horse. Is there, oh, is the assistant starter, starter guys, see? They're, oh, the guy, no. they're the ones that save our butts. They're the guys in there that pull us out, and then they're left in there with a 1,200-pound horse. So I, God bless those guys. They were my friends. The assistant starters are in the starting gate right next to the horses, in this case standing on a little narrow pontoon next to the horse. And so they put themselves in harm's way when the horse starts flailing around. In this case, when the horse put his front feet up over the front of the starting gate. Oh, you just hope for the best there. I, I mean, it's worth reiterating just how many different safety precautions they have all around the track for both the animals and the humans involved. And uh, you hope these situations don't pop up, but one did here. Let's get it down to Nick. Yeah, I'm with Frankie Dottori. He's walking back. Frankie, you look, you look fine. You've got the bridle. What happened? There? I was lucky. I mean, just freaked out. He went up. He went, put his two legs across. Thanks for the boys that got me out of there because it could have been nasty. Uh, and you're you're okay? I'm okay. Yeah. And the horse? I'm okay. I'm not I'm, fine. I'm not surprised. Uh, Frankie, um, see you again tomorrow. Thanks. Yeah, sure. So much. Thanks. All right. So he he's fine. Um, certainly, looked like that could have been a whole lot worse. Oh yeah. From yeah. what we saw. Yeah. Yeah, they did a really good job to get the horse out from underneath the starting gate. Concerned and, uh, about the assistant and, starter. Yeah, hopefully there. the assistant starter is okay. Oh, wishing the best uh, towards that person. It's they, a very hazardous occupation. They're just, they're, I've told many people that's the most dangerous place in, in a race for, for the horse, the assistant starter, for the rider. There's no place to go. What's going through your head as a jockey just get in out. that moment? Get you, out. You try and get out. And, and the assistant starter will most generally grab us by the back of our silks and pull us out even if he has to throw us out the bat. But that's better than being stuck underneath the horse. There have been jockeys killed inside a starting gate. I mean, these are massive, massive animals. Right. And, and, and he was, like Frankie said, he was freaking out. The horses, you know, they're a little claustrophobic times. They can be. And he's just trying to get out of there. Let's get it down now to Lafitte. With the on-track veterinarian, Dr. Hayes, late scratch, Dr. Reva Albahar before this previous Cup Juvenile Turf. What can you tell us? Well, Lafitte, as you could see, the horse reared up and caught a leg over the top of the gate. And obviously after that, fell backwards and flipped under the gate. The horse appears to be generally uninjured. It was examined by the veterinarians at the gate. And it, uh, it's an automatic scratch since the horse did go down underneath the gate. They are, they are currently... Uh, evaluating the horses around that horse in the starting gate to make sure they're okay to go ahead and run. Appreciate the update, Doctor. Thank you. Amen.
Thanks, Lafitte. Uh, is it fair to say that there may have been a time in the past where that horse would have been inspected, and if he was relatively healthy, maybe he could have ran? I've seen it happen. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been a long time, though, uh, that they've had these protocols in place. It's, once a horse does that, he gets scratched automatically. It, it's just an example of how things have evolved over the course of the years it, for, for safety. Guy, it, it appears like, number one, who is directly inside Modern Games, may be scratched as well. He might have gotten clipped by one of the flailing legs of Albar. And he has officially been scratched. So we've lost both Godolphin horses, who were the two favorites in the juvenile turf due to that episode in the starting game. One modern games and two Alvar. 